For many routers, the uh, access is a uh, uh, is uh, 192.168.1.1 or 0.1.2. For Comcast, it's a little bit different. So for Comcast, you want to enter 10.0, and it's already preset on mine, but 0 0.0, 0 0.1. And once you press enter, it's gonna take a second here. Uh, so once you get to your logon screen, you're going to have your default username and it's admin. And your default password is going to be password. <laughs> Everything's lowercase. So um, I already changed mine, so I'm going to put mine here and you won't be able to see it. And I'm going to select login. And this is what you will see. So here it shows on the first page. It shows that I have Ethernet, I have Wi-Fi. On the left-hand side, you'll see you have options for gateway. You can see gateway at a glance, which is what we're looking at here. You have your connection settings. If I do a drop-down, you'll see their status, Xfinity network, local IP network, Wi-Fi, firewall, software, and then if you select hardware, you have system hardware, battery, LAN, wireless, and then wizard. And I'm not going to go over every single settings at this time. This is just a general overview of the router um, setting area. Then you have your connected devices. So here it also shows connected devices on the first page. But if you select the connected devices tab, it will show you here what's connected. Um, and also if it's Internet, Wi-Fi, and you can edit these. You can also uh, disable them from accessing your network. And then you, you have parental control on the left-hand side. And a parental control, and this is really good if you have kids in the house. You can manage sites. You can manage services. You can man manage devices. And you can look at reports. And you can also enable it or disable it. Next tab you have is the advanced tab. Under the advanced tab, you have port forwarding, port triggering, DMZ, dynamic DNS, device discovery, and then you have your troubleshooting tab. So under troubleshooting, you have logs, diagnostic tools, reset, robot gateway, and change password. So when you first log in and you want to reset your password, I would recommend going here under troubleshooting, change password, do that right away. Uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, somebody maybe driving around your neighborhood <laughs> trying to access your uh, your wireless gateway and changing the password for you so you won't be able to get in unless you uh, contact Comcast. But it's always be able to be able to do things yourself without ha having to wait on the phone. You know, uh, a lot of these Internet service providers, you may have to wait quite a while to get, uh, get a hold of them. So this is the, this is the overview itself. Um, and again, this is for those that have a Comcast router. So um, if, um, if you have a Comcast router, you're also qualified to have um, basically a, a hotspot. Your router can be a hotspot. But you also have Xfinity uh, Internet to where you can access um, Xfinity Online just about from anywhere. So that's through your uh, Comcast uh, username and uh, password, which is usually an email that is set up to you by Comcast. But if you uh, change your preferred email, that will change as well. So uh, I hope this has uh, brought you some value. Be sure to leave comments down below. Or if you'd like to get more information on certain parts of this uh, router uh, access, uh, again, be sure to like, share, and leave me comments. Uh, and uh, watch my other videos. Um, and if you'd like to, a lot to learn more about uh, what it is that I do, uh, you'd like to check out my blog, look at the description down below, and uh, I'll see you there. Thank you.